Hello everybody, in today's video I decided to hop on to the mic this time around to talk about some huge news about Scratch. So the Scratch Foundation just announced that they're working on Scratch 4.0 and honestly, I have a lot of feelings about it. On one hand, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I mean, it's Scratch 4.0, it's a very big deal. Uh, Scratch has been such a fun and powerful tool that I've used over almost a whole decade of me creating games, animations, and all kinds of stuff. Now with all the updates they got lined up, it's gonna be pretty insane to see what's gonna happen. So I wanna talk about like the community features because a lot of people that they don't talk about is them saying that they're gonna be reimagining the online community. So I do not know what that really like means. Are they gonna like be changing the entire like social media? Because honestly, looking at it, it's pretty outdated. Like looking at the whole like uh, user interface of particularly the profile files and stuff like that it's, it's kind of outdated it looks like something straight out of like an old forum from like the early 2000s i feel like it would be very beneficial for them to modernize it and have it be acting more as a standard social media but then there's the whole ai part and i'm gonna be real Creative AI is something that I'm a little nervous about. I mean, it does sound cool at first, like having the idea of AI helping with coding and stuff. That's the part where I'm not really like nervous about because I feel like having AI help coding could be a little bit beneficial. However, the part where I have the issue with is AI generated art. That is something that I feel should not be a thing. AI art basically takes away all the creativity that Scratch is known for and just having a robot do everything for everyone. I just don't feel like it would be the best uh, interest for the Scratch team to incorporate. So I hope when they mention creative AI, it isn't about generative art and it's something about more so for coding. Now, of course, because this announcement is kind of a big deal, it's already been on the Scratch Wiki, and the Scratch Wiki predicts that it's probably going to come out in around 2025, but I honestly don't think it's going to release in 2025, and I see it more releasing around early 2026, because, like, they didn't- they haven't shown off anything of the Scratch 4.0. They haven't shown off the editor, any of the new features, or anything really. The only thing that we really have is Scratch Labs, and even then, that's that's only been around for like a couple years, and it hasn't really been touched or updated, so there isn't really much to see with what they're going to be adding. One thing that I hope that the Scratch team works on is how it renders SVG files, because the current way it does it makes it so it's hard for projects to run whenever the uh, vector sprites are overly detailed or complex. So I really hope that they really prioritize on improving the renderer so that projects can run smoother and people are able to make much bigger projects with Scratch. Another thing that I really want from the new Scratch 4.0 is an ability to customize the editor. Kind of like have all the features from Scratch add-ons, but kind of merge them all within natively into Scratch. So what do you guys think? What do you think the Scratch 4.0 should add? Please let me know in the comments down below, and I will be free to discuss anything that is, uh, you guys think. So yeah, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.